Hello everybody, welcome to a short tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can bring particle devices onto Datacake um, and import products and call functions and so on. Um, for this tutorial, I've created um, or added a small demo device. It's a Baron um, and there's a code running on that device, which is pretty simple and I've taken this device out of the particle documentation. So the code doesn't do anything, but it's just a demonstration how you can call functions and bring publishes into data cake pretty easy. So we can see here, this is the code running on the device. It's a function, there's a function. And every time we pass some commands using that function, it will return some data um, as JSON, but also as some bytes and just a flag. So um, this is the device of the console. And we can see it's ready now. This is the function here. And when we call it, that we call the start function, um, it will return the um, JSON, which we've defined here in this one. It could be also a byte string or the error notification or whatever. Okay, so let's copy this device ID and go over to Datacake. Um, this is your Datacake workspace. I've got a couple of devices in here, but I'm now going to create a new um, workspace. This is the multi-tenancy feature and call that Boron demo. And when you log into Datacake, um, you will see your empty workspace, no devices in it, and you begin by pressing on add device. Now we can select the particle icon here. And the first thing is that we need to connect um, an API token. We provide a help here. So this is something that you can use for creating API tokens. And I am now going to create an API, API token. So yeah, I've created the API token. I've cut this out of the video so that you don't see my API token. Um, when you paste the token here, the account will automatically be linked. You can link multiple accounts to your workspace and you can have multiple workspaces. All your accounts are in each of these workspaces. Let's press next. So it now fetches a list of all the available products that I've got here. Um, for this demo, I integrated the Baron into a product and we are going to select that product here. It's the data cake integration test product. The next thing is that we now need to link this to a product. So we can now create a new product because it's an empty workspace. We do that and call that Boron demo product. But you could also choose an existing product if you would have already device created in your workspace, or you can create a template. So here we've got template for the asset tracker and in future there will be some others. So let's leave it to a Boron demo product, press next. And then we see the device actually, which is in our um, device list here in that product. So all the devices that are in that product can be accessed in data cake and you can batch import them all at once. Back to data cake. Um, then you are required to choose a plan. We select the free, free plan here and it's now important, uh, imported into data cake. Um, we also got a demo section here. We can see that there's no data arrived uh, yet. Um, oh, there is some data because it's sending regular pings and it's all happening using a webhook forward, which we, um, which I've created before in the integration section. And for each device or event that I want to forward to, so each event that I want to forward to Datacake, I've created these webhooks here. Pretty straightforward. You just have to supply this um, URL. And we've got an extensive and intensive um, detailed documentation on that. So, okay, um, let's see how we can integrate this data here. So once more, um, when we send a brew command to the um, Baron, it will send us this JSON here. And we can see that in um, data cake, we um, also already um, received the JSON, which is here. And we are now having to import that into data cake. So this is um, how it happens. First of all, we go into configuration. You see the fields here, and we're now going to create fields um, for each um, yeah, important information that's in the payload. So there's temperature, there's brewing state, and the type. So that is the brewing, brewing state. Let's put in the string here and the type, which is also a string. Okay, so we now created these three fields, which will hold the information forwarded using the web integration. Um, we now have to define a payload decoder. So payload decoders are, um, is a piece of code that you define 
how to take the information from that particle device and bring it onto data cake. Um, so first of all, we define if the event is um, brew. No, it's not brew. The event is, ah, yes, it's brew. So this is the, the name here, it's brew. Um, we are first of all having to convert the payload to JSON. Um, yeah, I think it's like that. And then we can access the things that are in it. So um, we are copying this piece of code here. And this is how we need to return data to data cake. And the field, we are going to copy this one here, the temperature, paste it here. And this then is payload.temp because it's exactly how um, this here, yeah, is accessed in the JSON. So, okay, let's call that once more, the brew function, which will start the brewing. And as you can see here, it's being forwarded. Um, oh, I forgot to press save. So let's do that once more. Um, and when we're back into data cake, we can see here, that the data is already in data cake. And if I'm now going to create um, value widget for the temperature and supply a basic gauge here, um, I'm having this information that um, I was sending from the device, from the Buron device into data cake. There's now also a stop command, um, which stops the brewing process and it forwards a different temperature and we can see yeah that the temperature is updated on data cake as well you can also see then the debug um we from time to time have to reload the re the um, debug lock and you can see here this is the field temperature 10 degrees and that was 23 degrees um this is all happening in the payload decoder so if we want to now forward some more data we could also do this um simply by copying this here, pasting it, the brewing state. Um, and I think this is the type. Yeah, um, let's leave it to type. Okay, so we're now going to forward both of these events into Dedicate directly. Instead of just going back to the particle console all the time and calling these functions, you could also hook up these functions into Data Cake directly. On your device view, we've got this downlink section here and um, we're going to create a new downlink. Um, this is a concept that is known from lower end devices. Downlink is something that you send onto your devices. Um, so we are going to create downlink for studying the brewing process. And in this um, downlink, you need to define a piece of code. Um, you can also use that to make some calculations or use historical measurement values or settings from the database, and then just send, um, do some calculations and send the argument based off dynamic parameters. So in this case, the function is brew and the argument is start. So it matches um, this argument here and the function brew. Um, so basically exactly like it, it is the case here on this function. Um, so we can also try that encoder. So if you would have a, a code that runs through some calculations, you can test that before sending it. We add the downlink and we are going to create another one for stop, for brew wing stop. And in this case, the return, once more, the function is brew and the argument is stop. So we add this downlink here and we've got now both for stop and start. So when we press start, it will send to the device um, the downlink and then the device will respond with the data and we can see that the um, new data, um, which we also see here in the console is on data cake. And when we go into the downlink and press on the stop downlink, the same is happening once more. So the data will be in um, the console and then on your device and then back in data cake. There's also the option to add a widget where you can um, select the brewing stop um, and start downlink on um, the dashboard itself. So you can place some buttons here and there's also the option to do that on all the dashboards. Um, so let's go back once more into the configuration and the, to the payload decoding here, um, because this was a basic example. So basically, um, the device is forwarding JSON. You can use that code to um, 
um, take out the JSON by parsing it and then accessing the elements of the JSON directly. But you could also send something that is very um, yeah um, small in uh, terms of data usage, so like a byte string or some bits, which you can use in the payload decoder to decode these bits into actual informations like temperature and so on. Um, also, as you might know, these particle devices have a very great feature. This is the um, device diagnostics, which is pretty helpful. So if you're um, having a large fleet of cellular devices, for instance, so you call this button here and it returns a list of all these statistics here. Um, we can also use that inside our decoder and how this looks and works. I'm going to show you um, with the device that I've got in my workspace, which is about the um, particle asset tracker. So this is my asset tracker, which is here at home. And this is basically what you get when you create a device from the asset tracker the template. So it brings you a dashboard um, and all the recording and the payload decoder already preset. And in here, you can see that we've um, also created a piece of code for the Spark diagnostics. So this is the um, diagnostic information that's being sent through the um, particle device cloud. And we access this the same way. So we parse it into a JSON and then we access the elements from that webhook forward. So this is pretty easy to adapt the um, yeah, data structure that you have in your devices and how you can bring them on DataKit. Let's go back into our um, Baron demo workspace because there's one one thing I would like to show you as well. Um, this Baron that we just created here in this demo um, belongs to a product. Um, when we see existing products, we can see the Baron demo product. So that means that the settings like payload decoder, dashboard, database fields, they all belong to that product. So if you would now create another device or add another device to that product, and you would import that into DataCake using the existing product, that would mean that all the features or, or functionalities and settings that you set on this device will apply for all devices that you put into that product. That makes it easy to um, yeah, control larger fleets and so on. Um, we also got um, an extensive documentation um, about um, the particle integration where we have covered um, yeah, all of this, what I was just running through it. Um, so you find it under integrations particle, and then you also see how to get started, how to decode payloads, um, what options you got, and how you can create downlinks, and so on. Um, yes, this is it. A short demo about or um, on how you can use your particle devices with DataCake. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.